Hello, my name is Alexa Pugh. I'm currently an intern for Human Dialogues, but um, basically I'm an American living in France for four years and who studied public and international affairs. And now I'm trying to find what job I can do uh, to help move us forward um, locally and internationally. Human Dialogues is a festival and it's also a social forum and it's both a local and international event in Lyon. And basically we're asking ourselves the big questions facing humanity. So environmental problems, we're asking about social inequalities and we're talking about war and peace. And so this festival hopes to get not only people who are problem solvers and um, researchers, but also just normal people because everyone has ideas and everyone's a global citizen. And so everyone can help us find the solutions to these problems. The idea is that um, we need to think of human beings as the center of our solutions. So instead of thinking about something as an environmental solution or a technological situation solution or an economic solution, you have to think of humans at the heart. So how is my own humanity affecting the world for better or worse? Um, and how can I help advance all other human beings without having like a posture of I'm an expert in this, this or this, because we're all experts on being human beings. <laughs> So we're done discussing things abstractly and theoretically. What we want are to see what people are doing and what's working. And I think that's easier said than done, but I think we're past the point where we can just talk about it and say, oh, we just need better education. We just need better this, better that. No, let's see what's working in other places because there is there are solutions happening, even in the United States. So what's working, why, and how can we actively show people examples of what they can do. Some people need to be led. Around the world, we have a lot more in common than we think, and we can share a lot more of our culture with each other. And I think what I bring to this question is the fact that I really do know people well. I've started to really understand people in different cultures and to be able to integrate myself into different types of cultures. I think it can be damaging to trying to move everyone forward. And I'll explain, it's like, I know because the United States has a very individualistic culture and that can lead to good things. So, you know, someone can become very successful themselves and then philanthropically give to other people, right? But if we depend on this kind of success, individual success to be able to help other people, it's just not going to work. I think we need what is perfectly said in French and which I can't figure out how to say in English is entraide. Instead of having this idea that, oh, well, I'll make something of myself and then I'll give money to people. It should be like the whole way people are helping you, you're helping others and not in a closed circle, but in like everyone you can interact with. I think some people will suffer first and are already suffering first. Um, to give an example, the, some of the countries with the lowest CO2 emissions are the ones that are facing like the most horrible climate change problems right now with desertification and things like this. So in my mind, I think that the most vulnerable suffer first. But I think once, I don't, I don't think we can avoid that for much longer, even the safe people. So I think when one group of people is harmed, it eventually affects everyone. I also think that um, young people and maybe all people have had enough and that this actually can't go on. So the pessimistic part is that some we're gonna have some rough road ahead of us for the rest of 2020, but the thing about it is that people are getting fed up. People are smarter now. People are, they've heard all of these speeches before. Even me at the age of 25, I'm already over it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think that's what's going to help the future is that people are really waking up now and we're ready to, to fight.
I'd like to say that there were many times as someone who works in public and international affairs and as someone who's pretty politically engaged in terms of protesting and things like this, I asked myself so many times, what's the point? Because what actually changed in the United States? I mean, we have President Trump. We have so many problems. I mean, the gun question, the healthcare question. I keep asking what's the point. But I think the thing I want people to remember is that there is a point. There are people that are making changes happen, even if they're slow, even if they're long, and even if they're not as we imagine them. I think it's worse to give up. So we're going to be exhausted and we're going to be tired of fighting. But uh, I think if we keep staying creative and supporting each other, then there is a point. Mm -hmm.